Shalom family, shalom. I'm coming to you guys today with another video. I'm so excited to do this video. This is actually going to be my ancestry DNA breakdown. I did get my ancestry DNA results, guys. So I just want to go through it with y'all and show y'all what I am. <clears throat> now, before I begin, I'm going to tell y'all what I knew, what I thought I was. Okay. So, Indian and Irish. <laughs> y'all yeah, know my family, I've said that my family is Indian and Irish. Now, on my ancestry results, well, I guess I'll just go through and we'll see. Okay. So, but let's go through. I, I didn't know how you got to the little pie chart thing. I don't know, but let's see. So, I'm 46% Nigerian, okay? And it's funny because I was on the phone with my mom and I was talking to her about, you know, what I might be in. And I said I was Nigerian, okay? Just off top of my head. Just off top of my head, don't know what I'm talking about, okay? When you know, you know, even though I didn't know. <laughs> and um, I'm 16% Cameroon, Congo, and Western Bantu peoples. I am 11% Benin and Togo. I am 8% Ireland, which I knew. I told you guys that my grandmother said our family has Irish in it because my um like my great 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 grandfather great i don't know how great how many greats back but was uh, i believe indian and um african mixed i don't know and he married a irish woman or a mixed woman who was irish or something to that effect um, I do, when I was doing my family tree, have ancestors who on their birth certificate says mulatto. So, um, but the reason why I, you know, this information that I got on my, from my, on my family tree is like from other people's family trees who's telling me this stuff. I don't know. I don't know these people, you know? So it's like, I stopped doing the family tree. I started to getting back to the 1500s and I was just like in England and all of that and in Ireland and all of that stuff. And I was just like, is this my ancestors or what? What's going on here? So, you know, I didn't know if I was looking into the slave masters, family history or mine. So I, that kind of threw me and I kind of was like, didn't have a way to decipher that. So I hadn't been, you know, finishing the family tree. But I am 8% Irish, okay? 8% Irish. I am 7% Mali, 3% Wales, 2% Germanic Europe, 2% Ivory Coast and Ghana, 1% Senegal, 1% Norway, 1% Northern Italy. And I was just messing with my husband because he had work. I called and told him my results. And it's funny because my husband's name is Dante and he swear he got Italian in him and he likes spaghetti and stuff. <laughs> That's like one of his favorite bills. So he swear he Italian, okay? We always eat that Olive Garden and stuff. He swear he Italian, okay? I'm going to get him an ancestry DNA test now. Because he, I know he want one because I asked him twice. Okay, when I got mine, I asked him, did he want one? He said no. And then I asked him on Father's Day when the price went back down, when they was having another sale, did he want one? And he said no. Um. So then when I was like at the last bar, because they update you on like how far like your DNA is extracted, DNA analyzed, you know, et cetera. So when I was like at the last one, he was like, dang, I wish I would have got one. I said, I asked you two times, <laughs> did you want one? <laughs> now my results is in. I can't wait till you get home because I bet you he said he want one, okay? Um, but it's funny because I was talking to him on the phone. I was telling him my results and I said, see, I'm 1% Italian, okay? I'm I'm the real deal, okay? <laughs> he was laughing and stuff. <laughs> he was like, he was so silly. 
So I'm 1% Portugal and 1% England and Northwestern Europe. Now, as y'all can see, I don't have any Indian, any Native American on my chart. Now, this could be attributed to two things. The test could be wrong, which I'm not going to say the test is wrong. It definitely said I'm 8% Irish, which I already knew that my family was Irish or whatever. Um... But what I'm going to attribute it to, attribute it to is, um, like I said, I believe it was my grandfather who was Indian and African or whatever. So what I what what could be happening is you need your male side of the family DNA test to get that uh, Y chromosome, like all, what's all in that DNA or whatever. Um, so yeah and then it's kind of difficult because like your father like my i would need my father's right but then i I would also need my mom's father's right but then what about my grandmother's father so like all of these different fathers and that might be why um why we don't receive the mtdna the five because it's like a whole bunch of different lines you see what i'm saying so whereas the mitochondrial dna is passed down unchangingly the fathers seems to be changing i don't know that's just what i'm taking on that but it could be the male side of your family that has the indian or whatever so you can get you know your grandfather or your father or whoever you want to get on the male side of your line test it um, to see if it pops up that way. Now, another thing was people was talking about the markers, like certain markers. You can see what kind of markers you have. And like, I guess some people were saying that they are Indian and they not, you know, I guess it's not showing up. You got to look at the DNA markers and all of that stuff, which I don't know. I'll, I'll look into that, but I don't know. But I found this very interesting. I, I was like blown away. So 46% Nigerian, 16% Cameroon, Congo, and West Two Bantu peoples, 11% Benin and Togo. And I knew I was going to have something in that area on here. Like, I just knew it because if history is correct, which, you know, a lot, we doubt history a lot because they, they tell us so much lies and stuff. Okay. But from our understanding, we was in the Atlantic slave trade that took slaves from that area, right? Now, it says that my ancestors were the uh, part of the Virginia, early Virginia African Americans, okay? So that's interesting. Um, my kids is in there making a fuss. So I just wanted to bring this to y'all. I need to get back in here and get them under control. Because as soon as you're not in their face staring them down like a what, crazy mother. <laughs> they start getting beside themselves. Okay. You got to be right there looking into their eyes and into their soul. Like I know what you're trying to do. They be like uh oh. <laughs> But I found that very interesting. Y'all know I'm definitely going to do research on all of these places. Um, definitely, definitely. I can't believe I got your... What's tripping me out? Okay. So, it's definitely very interesting. And then it was 8%, which is kind of high. Like, I wasn't expecting it to be 8%. I guess I was expecting to see more Indian, less Irish, I guess. And I didn't see no Indian in 8% I 8% Irish. Well, we attribute my family's appearance to Indian, I guess. We could just be mulatto, I don't know, mixed. Um, because I'm, I'm a, a very brown, beautiful brown color. Like my grandmother says... And my grandmother, my great grandma is very colorist, okay. But she says I have my own color, okay, and that looks good with all colors. And she had gave me this orange scarf 
one time when I went to visit her um, and was talking about my skin complexion. She was very colorist, okay? Very, very colorist. Um, because they're all light skinned. Like, my family is all light skin. It's very few of us that's dark. Like, I, off the top of my head, I'm trying to think about somebody that I know that's dark skinned it right off the top of my head on my on my mom's side. And I'm just like, I can't do it. My auntie Clemmy and her kids are a little bit on the darker side. But outside of that, everybody else is like light. So <clears throat> my grandma, my grandmother is light with the straight curly hair. Like, let me see if I can show y'all a picture so y'all can see why we attribute my family to being Indian, but we could just be, um, y'all don't be going on my grandma page. Don't be going on my grandma page, y'all. <laughs> Here I go. Don't be going on my grandma page. Let's see. This is my grandmother. I was trying to find the page so you can see she's light. She has straight curly hair. Hold on. Let me go to her other page because she be having pages she be not that's not active. So this is my grandmother and my great grandmother. And if you can see, they look Indian, but I it could be the Irish and stuff in this. I mean, and I did a video that um about this Irish woman walking up to me in the mall and asking me. We we was out at the mall on St. Patrick's Day. And I had on my, you know, my, my hat. I had these heels on, which was some of my favorite ones. And they was, like, greenish color. Um, but they had, like, rainbows and little stuff like that on them. They were so cute. And they was out in the back. Out, The back was out. The toe was out. And they, like, tied up a little bit. They were so cute. And I had on, like, my yellow half sweater thing. It was, like, a half top yellow sweater thing and I was just all colorful I had my big I had a big bendy dot on my forehead <laughs> and um she was asking me what you know and I was like oh I'm I'm Indian and Irish you know that's what I told her from what I know she said huh I'm Indian and Irish too you know <laughs> so but I wonder what made her stop and and ask me, you know, I must have been looking real Irish. It was St. Patrick's Day, okay? So as you, so this is my aunt. That's my Uncle Chris's daughter. And then that's my grandmother in orange. My aunt in the black next to her. And in the back, the young girl. That's my Uncle Chris's daughter. So you can see my family my aunt, my grandmother, their hair texture, just straight curly hair texture. And that's my mom. And no, that's not her hair. I think she had a wig on in that picture. So you can't really see my mom's hair texture. But if you guys, I'm going to start coming on here more. You'll be able to see my hair texture. I don't have their hair texture, but you could tell that I'm definitely got something going on with my curly hair. Like my daughter be like, mom, I wish my hair was curly like yours. And her hair is though. But you know she, you know, she ain't taking care of it like she's supposed to. Well, she can't get it to do what I can get it to do. That's what I say. You know, she don't know how to do hair. <laughs> but um, so yeah. And then this is my grandmother when she was younger. That's my mom. You can see how light my mom is. Um, and I think she had some weave or wig on in that picture. So you really can't see my mom's hair texture. I'm dead. <laughs> so that's my grandma my great grandmother and my uncle my uncle Eric so yeah so we just assumed it was Indian okay Indian and Irish that's what my grandma said but like I said it could be the male side of the line that shows the Indian okay so don't be like oh I'm not Indian I'm not we, we don't know we don't know if these tests is rigged to keep us from knowing something but I do believe all of the other information they provided I believe is correct but because the way we migrate like okay for example like your DNA 
Niger. So let me use myself for example. Okay, so I was forty six percent Nigerian. Let's just use that for example. Who to say the Nigerians wasn't the original Indians? Boom. You see what I'm saying? So it's a trick. We we don't know. You got to do your your research, your history research. Okay, because when we say Indian, it may not be the DNA markers that they give to the people who they call Indians, right? You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? But that don't mean that you ain't because it could have been your ancestors that was the real Indians, but they gave the Indian name to the people who they call Indian today and they DNA tree. You see what I'm saying? So I don't know. I don't know, but we've definitely seen that I was Irish, 8%. That was a lie. I, 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 did, I wasn't expecting that, especially because y'all see how I'm brown. Look, I don't. I I guess you can tell I'm kind of mixed if you look at my features or whatever. But like my hair texture and my nose and I don't know. I thought I had black eyes. I got like these cat eyes, like these big almond like cat eyes or whatever. I don't know. I don't know if that's a white or black feature. I don't know. <laughs> so, but yeah. So, I don't know. I guess. We think of brown people, and you know, I kind of went through that going, growing up in school. Of you know, I learned not to say I was mixed quick early because it seemed like I, at being brown skin, that I wasn't allowed to say I was mixed because it was like you brown skin, so you black. You know what I mean? <laughs> Only the light skinned people was able to say that they was mixed. So. DNA is very tricky and you know it's and and I say this and this is why I really don't like to get into the black white thing now it upset me like yeah on the surface level I get into it you know what I mean but like I definitely understand how genetics work on a different level and just because you got dark skin don't never don't necessarily mean that you're African okay because from these tests we can see it's been people on here who was 40 50 darn percent European and they got blacker skin than you you know what I mean so DNA is tricky and I think they get us you know so like what I'm saying is some black people and white people is from the same tribe some black people and white people is from the same tribe some white people and white people is from different tribes. Some black people and black people is from different tribes. But because we base everything on color, we say all white people is from the same, all black people is from the same. I don't know. It's a very, you know, it's a very thin line. <laughs> Look, here I go. It's a thin line between love and hate. <laughs> Okay, I'm just joking, but what I'm what I'm saying is, you know, it's a very broad, uh, like thin or broad. I don't know. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, it's a very, um, you know, wide range of genetics and everything. You don't know, you know. You don't know. So, shalom, family. I love you guys. Until we meet again. Mwah.